Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. So, you want to be a hacker? Well, today's your lucky day. We're diving deep into the world of hacking protocols. In just 10 minutes, you'll go from zero to hero. All right, let's get this show on the road. All right, so what exactly are hacking protocols? Think of it like this. You want to get into an exclusive club, right? You need to know the secret handshake, the password, the whole deal. That's kind of what hacking protocols are like. They're the rules of the game. They determine how computers talk to each other, share information, you name it. Now why should you care? Well, understanding these protocols is like having a backstage pass to the internet. It's the key to unlocking a whole new world of possibilities. You'll be able to analyze network traffic, see what's happening behind the scenes, and even find vulnerabilities. But, and this is important, with great power comes great responsibility. We're talking about serious stuff here, folks. Okay, before we go full-on hacker mode, let's talk about network security. Think of it like this. Your computer is like your house, and the internet is like a big, scary neighborhood. You wouldn't leave your front door unlocked, would you? That's what network security is all about. Putting up strong defenses to keep the bad guys out. We're talking firewalls, strong passwords, the whole nine yards. To exploit a system, you need to understand how it's protected in the first place. It's like trying to pick a lock. You gotta know what kind of lock you're dealing with. All right, let's get down to business. What are some of the most common hacking techniques out there? Well, one classic is the good old denial of service attack. Imagine a bunch of people flooding a store making it impossible for anyone else to get in. That's basically what a denial of service attack does. It overwhelms a system with traffic, causing it to crash. Then there's phishing. You know those sketchy emails that try to trick you into giving up your personal information? Yeah, that's phishing. It's all about social engineering using clever tactics to manipulate people into doing something stupid. And of course, we can't forget about malware. Chapter 4 Tools of the Trade, Gearing Up for Hacking Now every self-respecting hacker needs the right tools for the job. We're talking software here, the kind that gives you the power to analyze networks, scan for vulnerabilities, and exploit weaknesses. One of the most popular tools out there is Nmap. It's like a Swiss army knife for hackers, allowing you to scan networks, identify open ports, and even fingerprint operating systems. Then there's Wireshark, which is like a network sniffer. It lets you capture and analyze network traffic in real time, giving you a glimpse into the secret conversations happening between computers. And of course, no hacker's toolkit is complete without Metasploit. Chapter 5. Ethical Hacking versus Malicious Hacking Don't be a jerk. Alright, let's talk ethics. Hacking, like any tool, can be used for good or evil. Ethical hackers, also known as white hat hackers, are the good guys. They use their skills to find vulnerabilities and improve security. Think of them as the digital equivalent of those guys who test the security of banks and casinos. They find the weaknesses so they can be fixed before the bad guys exploit them. Malicious hackers, on the other hand, are the bad guys. They're the ones who use their skills for personal gain or to cause harm. The line between ethical and malicious hacking is crystal clear. It all comes down to intent. Chapter 6. Setting up a safe environment. Don't blow up your computer. Alright, so you're eager to start practicing your hacking skills. That's great. But before you do, we need to talk about safety. You don't want to accidentally unleash digital chaos upon your own system, right? That's why it's crucial to set up a safe environment for all your hacking adventures. First things first, you're going to need a virtual machine. Think of it like a computer within a computer. It's a safe space where you can experiment without fear of messing up your main operating system. There are plenty of free virtual machine software options available online like VirtualBox or VMware Player. Chapter 7. Basic Protocols to Know Your Hacking ABCs In this chapter, we will explore the fundamental protocols that every hacker should be familiar with. These protocols are the building blocks of network communication and are essential for understanding how data travels across the internet. Okay, now let's dive into some specific hacking protocols. We'll start with the basics and gradually move to more advanced concepts. 
By the end of this chapter, you'll have a solid understanding of the key protocols that underpin the internet. Don't worry, we're starting with the basics. Even if you're new to hacking, these concepts will be easy to grasp. We'll break down each protocol and explain its role in network communication. These are the protocols that form the foundation of network communication, and understanding them is crucial for any aspiring hacker. Without a solid grasp of these protocols, it would be challenging to analyze network traffic or identify vulnerabilities. First up, we have TCP IP. This protocol suite is the backbone of the internet, enabling devices to communicate with each other seamlessly. It's essential to understand how TCP IP works to troubleshoot network issues effectively. This is the granddaddy of all internet protocols. Developed in the 1970s, TCP IP has stood the test of time and remains the standard for internet communication. It's the language that computers use to communicate with each other over the internet. Without TCP IP, the global network as we know it wouldn't exist. TCP is all about reliability, ensuring that data is transmitted correctly. It establishes a connection between devices and guarantees that data packets are delivered in the correct order. IP, on the other hand, handles the addressing, making sure that data packets get delivered to the right destination. Think of it as the postal service of the internet, ensuring that each packet reaches its intended recipient. Next, we have HTTP and HTTPS. These protocols are essential for web browsing and are used every time you visit a website. These protocols are all about web browsing. HTTP is the foundation of data communication on the web, while HTTPS adds a layer of security. HTTP is the standard protocol for transmitting data over the web, while HTTPS adds an extra layer of security with encryption. This ensures that the data exchanged between your browser and the website is secure and cannot be intercepted by malicious actors. As a hacker, understanding these protocols is crucial for analyzing web traffic, identifying vulnerabilities, and even manipulating websites. Mastering these basics will set you on the path to becoming a proficient hacker. All right, feeling confident, ready to take your hacking skills to the next level. Well then buckle up, because we're about to dive into some advanced protocols that will elevate your hacking game. These are the tools that professional penetration testers and ethical hackers use to find and exploit vulnerabilities in complex systems. First up, we have SSH. This protocol allows for secure remote access to a computer or server. It's like having a secret tunnel that lets you control another machine from anywhere in the world. Hackers often use SSH to gain unauthorized access to systems or to create backdoors. Next, we have FTP. This protocol is all about file transfer. It allows you to upload and download files between computers. While FTP itself is not inherently insecure, it can be vulnerable to attacks if not configured properly. Hackers can exploit FTP to steal sensitive data or to upload malicious files. And finally, we have SNMP. This protocol is used for managing devices on IP networks. Network administrators use SNMP to monitor and manage network performance, find and solve network problems, and plan for network growth. However, if not properly secured, SNMP can be a gateway for hackers to gain unauthorized access to network devices. So, always ensure your SNMP settings are properly configured and secured. By mastering these protocols, you'll be well on your way to becoming a more proficient and effective hacker. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks to level up your hacking game. Now let's talk about how these hacking protocols are used in the real world. It's one thing to understand the theory behind hacking, but it's another to see how these techniques are applied in practical scenarios. Because let's face it, theory is great and all, but seeing these concepts in action is what really brings it home. It helps us appreciate the complexity and the skill involved in both attacking and defending systems. One common real-world application is penetration testing. This is where ethical hackers simulate attacks on a system to find vulnerabilities. Companies hire ethical hackers to try and break into their systems, to identify vulnerabilities before the bad guys do. This proactive approach helps in strengthening the security posture of the organization. These pen testers use the protocols we've discussed to probe for weaknesses, exploit them, in a controlled environment of course, and then report their findings so the company can patch those holes. This process is crucial for maintaining robust security. Another application is in incident response. This is a critical area where quick and effective action can make a huge difference. 
When a company experiences a security breach, they call in incident responders to investigate what happened, contain the damage, and prevent future attacks. These experts are like the firefighters of the cyber world. These responders use their knowledge of hacking protocols to analyze logs, track down attackers, and figure out how to beef up security. Their work is essential in ensuring that the same vulnerabilities are not exploited again. We've covered a lot of ground, but here's the thing about hacking. It's a constantly evolving field. New technologies emerge, new vulnerabilities are discovered, and the bad guys are always coming up with new tricks. So if you want to stay ahead of the game, you need to be a lifelong learner. First off, stay updated on the latest security news and trends. Subscribe to security blogs, follow security researchers on social media, and attend industry conferences if you can. You need to know what's happening out there in the wild world of cybersecurity. Next, never stop practicing your skills. Set up your own lab, try out new tools, and experiment with different hacking techniques. Well, there you have it. We've journeyed through the world of hacking protocols from the basics to the advanced stuff. Remember, knowledge is power, but with great power comes great responsibility. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more awesome content. Until next time, stay curious, stay ethical, and keep on